So here we have it guys, the final, the actual unboxing of what's in the Osmo Pocket packaging, yeah? Is this all in focus? Yeah, right. Let's uh, see if we can find where to um, undo this. Yeah, here we go, right. They don't make it easy, do they, with all this uh, packaging? Gosh. Right. As that sticks to my hand. The static. So take the uh, sleeve off. I'm guessing this looks like a bit of packaging sleeve, yeah. So uh, come on in. Do you want to come off? <laughs> As I say, uh, not, not good at this. Oh. Let's uh, see how this comes off. Oh, that's because it's stuck at the back here. As we try and fumble through. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Right, hopefully this will come off now. Oh, there's another one down here. Wow. How many places can you stick it down? Now I did check, is it stuck on the front as well? Oh, is it, is it? No. So this should hopefully, uh, all ah, right, I got you. Oh, let's see, I see. So whilst this undoes here, there's some uh, information. Osmo Shield. And uh, yes, something in a language that I don't understand. Oh, here we go, for more information visit our website. So Osmo Shield, I guess is, uh, yeah, some kind of uh, insurance. Anyway, that's the uh, wrapping. Here's the uh, box. Oh, look at that. Do you wanna have a closer look? Oh, that looks sweet, doesn't it? So yes. So this is the actual case, from what I've seen of the reviews, yeah, because I have seen other reviews. Here's the camera. Wow, look how small that is. That literally just fits in my hand. Look at that. Wow, nice, eh? And there's the uh, case. So from what I've seen before, oh, there's a bit of um, crystals or whatever. There seems to be a lot of, uh, yeah, so. Mm. Let's take this back out. Because there's a few things in here that, uh, so it's actual case there. This is the, uh, where you put bits and bobs in there. So if I put that down there, as I drop something, here's a lanyard, which I gather goes on uh, on here, yep. Yeah. Some instructions, Osmo Pocket. So there's the quick start guide. Here we go, yeah, quick start guide. And this is the uh, warranty, disclaimer, safety guidelines. Put that down. And then here is the um, extra little gadgets to connect up so there's the little sticks that uh, go on the front here. So what it is, you take this out and then you put one of those devices on there and it fits into the side of the phone. Here's the uh, USB and port connector. I'm guessing that sticks down at the bottom there. Wow. This looks super, super sexy. So let me just go and quickly get, uh, get my phone and see how it all plugs in. So in terms of the uh, instructions here, 
terms of getting started, it says download the DJI MIMO app, activating the Osmo Pocket and then installing the micro SD card. So press and hold. So I've downloaded the MIMO app. I've got an SD card here. Yeah. And then I was talking about the uh, connector here. So what we've got is uh, we take that off and then this is the uh, iPhone connector. Here it is. So if I can just take this out. Take that out there. And then put this in here. There you go, got that in there. Got my iPhone SE. Yeah, so hopefully this will work. Here's the uh, DJI Mimo, yeah, agree. So let's go OK to allow. Access location. Let's go allow. Connect your device. Right, here we go. Let's connect device. Yeah, done that. Power on the Osmo pocket. Remove the universal ports cover and mount the smartphone adapter. Connect the mobile device to the Osmo pocket with the smartphone adapter and the DJI Mimo app will pop up automatically. If your device is not activated, the app will automatically enter the activation screen. Turn on upload device information and authorize the server to upload the Osmo pocket information for activation. Well, there you have it. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Now, can you activate my device? <laughs> right, let's do a little uh, check on this. Okay, guys, I think I've worked out what uh, needs to be done. So let's take these uh, covers off. And uh, this one as well. So uh, peel that off, okay, and then power up, ooh, ooh, let's go with the uh, English, I think this is touch screen yet, oh, device not activated. I don't know if it's focusing there, does it say yet? Yeah. See, device not activated. You see that at the bottom? Is it focusing? There, device not activated. So I'm going to activate it now with the instructions that are given to me, which is basically, here's my iPhone SE. I'll just simply plug this in here. Let's see what happens. Open up the DJI. App. So what I'll do is let's uh, let's plug that in. Oh, here we go. Hey, let's uh, agree. Upload device information. Got that next. Right, right, as we carry on with the activation. <laughs> uh, 
let's do this again. I think it powered down whilst it was in between the. Let's go. Yeah, here we go. Agree. Next. Activation. Activating. Oh, that was quick. Wow. Done. What's it say on the tip? Are you sure you want to skip video tutorial? Um, tell you what, I'll watch this video tutorial. I'll come back to you in a minute, yeah? Right, that was a uh, very useful tutorial. Hopefully it'll be uh, on YouTube as well, so I can have another look. Okay, so activation successful. I think that's done. So it's asking me to download the latest firmware. Oh. And then we'll download that. It says here, auto update the next time you uh, are connected to Wi-Fi. So let's go with that one. Doesn't seem to want to, oh, there you go. Just done that, so download. So it's doing the install. So this is gonna take a while, so I'll just, uh, you can see it's only up to 4%, 5%, so I'm sure you don't want to watch this counting down as the percentages go, so I'll be back in a moment. Right, appears to be all installed now. It's saying no SD card, so I'm about to put a uh, SD card in. Okay, the SD card is now in. Slide to select shooting. I think that's all the installation done. As you can see, it's looking... <laughs> the uh, I can move... Hang on, slide select shooting. Ah, right, right, okay. There's lots of... Um... Let's uh, select, so, common shooting settings are here, yeah. Got that one. Move a stick to control your gimbal. Yeah, tap quickly to adjust. So it's giving me some basic instructions to get going. So you tap that quickly, tap to move the gimbal forward to recenter gimbal. Power storage, find out more about gimbal. Yep, yep. So uh, let's just keep it all standard setting, so we're done. And then you can swipe to follow. So, okay, we got that one. Now in terms of moving the gimbal, as you can see, oh, here I am, moving the gimbal. Ooh. How about that, eh? <laughs> yeah, so you can see. Okay. I think that's enough on uh, this now, so let's take it outside and get some recording done out there. So I've now started recording. I have no idea how this, sounds, this sound is like, so let's go outside. Hopefully this looks good for you. How's that looking? Let's do a bit of tracking. Let's see if we can move the gimbal about, eh? Oh, oh it says do not operate while shooting. Hmm. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is see if I can switch it round to selfie mode. Okay, so now it's on selfie mode. I must admit, while I'm holding this, it does feel a bit um, petite and smaller because if I put my hand all the way around it, it should be face tracking me. I think it is face tracking, yeah? If I move my, if I move, there we go. If I move it around, it's, so it's keeping it on my face. Is it still following me? Yeah, it's still following me, so Pretty impressive on that point. I don't know what the sound's like at all. As I say, down at the front here, there's a mic and then down the side. It's still tracking my face, yeah. I'm going round and round. There's a bit of a lag. If I move my hand too fast, oh, although I'm moving it quick now, it, maybe it's got used to my face. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. As I say, I don't know what the sound is like at all on this. So I'm gonna plug it in 
and I'd love to hear your feedback of what is this sound like. I've not, when I upload this, I'm not going to edit the sound in any way. I'll take out any background music or whatever. So you have a listen and tell me what you think, how the sound compares to the uh, inside of studio. Now, obviously, you've seen some of my race vlogs. I'm going to take this out on the uh, long run, hopefully on uh, Sunday, and uh, see how I get on there. I might try out some of the other little gizmos, gadgets on this. And, uh, yeah, so looking forward to this. This is going to be such fun. New toy, new gadgetry, new everything. So, um, but first impressions, very impressed. I think I, it will take me a bit of getting used to holding something so small because I just want to, with my GoPro, I tend to just hold it in my hand, and there it is. Uh, with this one, obviously, because I've got a... Um, camera a <laughs> camera <laughs> the cam the camera lens is there because i've got a viewfinder here i can see myself and do the framing so I'll, i stick it right out there move it around you can see it's it's tracking 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 so very impressed bring it in close and around so there was a bit of a lag there where i had done a, a sudden movement but it's it's doing pretty well I'm very impressed. So, love to hear your feedback or what you think of the uh, quality of the image, um, the sound. I'm, this is the standard settings. I'll need to check what the standard settings are. And um, yeah, <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, take this to another level. Okay, I better stop recording. So yes, guys, just back inside. So I'm in the kitchen. So there might be a bit of echo, reverb, whatever, in terms of the sound quality on here. Let me check the. Uh, yeah, the mic is in. So as you can see, it's pretty tiny, yeah? And as I, what I was talking about is when I'm holding this in my hand like this, it does literally cover the whole thing and I've just left with the gimbal. Three axis gimbal, yeah, can you see that? So it's a neat, as you can see, compared to my hand, it just literally wraps all the way around. Very impressed. And literally when you switch it on, Boom! <laughs> Obviously it went out, it focused on my face, the camera did, <laughs> as soon as this one started. Uh, yeah, so it's a quick, what is it, five seconds, and you can see the little screen there. Uh, yeah, so there's a little screen, so you can frame the shot and do all that kind of stuff. So, very impressed, and as I said, you can uh, change it to uh, Selfie mode, so it's pointing at you at the moment. Can it focus on this? Will it focus on this? Doesn't seem to, it seems to, uh, the camera lens here is just focusing on me, so let's put that there. Oh, the joys of technology, eh? Maybe if I touch the screen. Ah, there we go, right, it's focusing on this. So uh, I can press a button and it'll suddenly go into selfie mode. Whoa, and now it's pointing at me. Yeah. And uh, and then I can turn it back. Boom. Cool, eh? And then switch it off. There we are. So, just a quick introduction. And uh, to this amazing little pocket. Pocket gimbal. So, first time I've gone with a gimbal. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the uh, pictures come out when I go uh, running um, because I've been used to my GoPro Hero 4 session and uh, it's, it's been great fun and brought me endless hours of enjoyment and film footage here on this channel. So I'd love to hear your feedback, what you think of these uh, initial impressions. I might go out um, and do some other kind of shots or whatever and see how it works but I'll try this out over the next couple of days and the uh, and also with the long run coming up on uh, Sunday and see how we get on weather permitting because I'm told this isn't waterproof um, so that'll be interesting uh, so that'll have some uh, bearing on how and when I can use this as well so hopefully you found this uh, useful in some way just a quick little intro to my uh, new gadgetry uh, for the runs and uh, and also on this channel so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this I hope you've enjoyed today's daily show and if you have, give it that thumbs up and if you didn't enjoy it, give it a double thumbs down. Click it twice, yes, <laughs> click that twice. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow where we'll continue our talk of the running journey. 
as we progress. So wherever you are, whatever you do. <laughs> That's right, guys. Keep on running. <laughs>